Hey everyone, this is Austin back again with another development update for a survival horror game, SCP Fragmented Minds. Now in the last devlog, which we linked in the description, we showed off the new custom designed sounds for both SCP-939 and SCP-3189, as well as the new sounds that have been created for player interactables, such as the pistol and welder, and then the newly revamped systems for the SCP's AI. In this devlog though, we're going to look at SCP-610's new animations and sounds, the new UI, some huge improvements to combat, the revamped crafting system, and then answering more awesome community questions and discussing the new plans for the public demo and Kickstarter campaign. Now SCP-610 has gotten a huge update and now has 9 new animations, each with their own fully designed custom sounds. We wanted the sounds for SCP-610 to reflect the creature literally being an amalgamation of reanimated flesh and bone, and the main component of the sound revolves around snapping bones and painful watery vocalizations that occur as it twitchily idles and moves. Now like all the other creatures, you'll be able to hear their sounds and see their animations in the public demo in-game using the model viewer, but let's go ahead and take a listen to the painful fleshy sounds for SCP-610. Now SCP-058, which was shown off in his own special reveal trailer a couple of days ago, which will also be linked below, will be featured in the next devlog as we finalize its sound design, implementation, and AI in-game. There were a ton of questions about whether or not SCP-058 is going to feature the British whispering that it's known for, and I'm happy to confirm that yes, we will be adding the signature whispering to this creature and have a voice actor lined up for it that we're sure you guys have heard before. Now there is another SCP that has never been seen before that will also have its own special reveal too, and that is going to be coming in a future video closer to the release of the public demo. As many of you have probably noticed, the old blockout UI that has been a staple of the bottom left of the screen has been changed to a new sleeker and much more clean design. And this UI will display your health, oxygen, suit power, and also any status effects that are currently being applied to you. We also plan to add metrics for hunger and thirst, but these will not be featured in the demo, and instead will be a background mechanic that will function as a way to boost your healing capabilities, rather than being a damaging or negative effect if not managed properly. Now the pistol has also gotten a UI enhancement to its screen, with it being much more readable in bright light, as well as the welder getting a new display screen to match the new model. A robust combat system is one of the most important mechanics in-game, so we wanted to spend a lot of time ensuring that fighting SCPs is fun and balanced based on their speed and damage. We've achieved a very good core system through the implementation of a new stunning mechanic that will allow you to stunlock an enemy if you do enough damage to it within a certain amount of time. This will effectively give a window of opportunity for you to get some additional hits in before it recovers and is able to attack once more. This mechanic is also coupled with the new shield system and is currently using a blockout shield until the new one is modeled and textured. But this system will enable you to completely block damage and also use the shield as a melee weapon to stun and push enemies away from you if they happen to trap you in a corner. Now keep in mind the animation for the push and stun are going to go through some refinement too, so the visuals for these systems aren't final just yet. However, you're also able to use the shield to perform a parry by blocking an attack with the shield at the right moment. The parry will also stun the enemy and give more opportunity to attack. But be warned since if you simply hold your shield block, the enemies will eventually do enough damage to break your block and this will actually end up stunning you, which will allow them to do more damage to you during your stun cycle. However, one of the newest additions to combat is the introduction of the long-awaited cryo grenades. These new tools will effectively allow combat with multiple SCPs since they'll completely freeze any SCP instances that the effect comes into contact with. This will open up a window of time for you to do a ton of damage to multiple SCPs that would have otherwise surrounded you before they thaw and begin attacking again. Be sure to keep some space between you and the grenade, since being within range of the detonation will do damage and will also slow you down until the effect wears off. Use of these tools is highly encouraged, so crafting materials for them will be relatively abundant to ensure that you're able to use them in dire situations. Speaking of crafting though, the crafting system has gotten some new changes and is now fully operational. Crafting will feature four separate unique ingredients that will come from using the fabricator to recycle any materials you may find. These ingredients are carbon, copper, iron, and rubber, and they'll be used in various recipes to create new and powerful tools, like the cryo grenade, 
to help you fight enemies and will be usable with other special additional resources to create specific items such as bullets for your pistol and cartridges for the railgun. Let's go ahead now and get into some questions that have been asked from the last video and also from our Discord and Twitter. Now if you have a question you'd like to ask, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and we'll answer it there or in another video. Now for question number one, how is SCP-093 going to work? So upon the announcement of the concept for this SCP, we saw a lot of people were confused about the scope and scale that such an SCP could potentially have. And this SCP, while it has huge potential, is not one that will feature a massive new map since that's simply out of scope for a team of this size. However, this object will actually unlock a side mission that will essentially be a small area that you'll be able to enter and explore for resources and fight enemies through a specific mirror if you're lucky enough to find it on your playthrough. But you can essentially think of this entire system akin to how Slayer Gates work in Doom Eternal. And for question number two, are there going to be variants of SCPs? Yes, this is something we get asked a lot specifically about SCP-3189 since the first version we've shown off is known as the Hatchling and is way more avian than the final variant which will look much more human. However, we do plan on adding variation to some of the SCPs to allow there to be stronger and faster types of the same enemy which helps make combat with them even more dynamic and fun. But for question three, what can we expect in the demo? So what you'll be playing through will be a fully designed level that's going to give a really good idea of what it would be like to play through an actual level in the full game. Now it will feature the core game mechanics as well as a few of our SCPs, combat, crafting, and interaction with your environment as well as an introduction into the story and world of the game. And we'll be giving a ton more information about the demo throughout this month, so make sure to look out for that. Alright, that about sums it up for this devlog. Make sure to leave your questions down below and we'll get to them in the next video. However, I'm sure some of you are wondering about the new timeline we have for the demo and Kickstarter. Now currently the demo is slated to release around March 12th along with the Kickstarter campaign. Now this pushback was to help avoid a very large SCP Kickstarter that's currently going on to help give the campaign the highest chance of success and to allow us to really polish up the mechanics and environments. Now we'll be starting playtesting of the actual demo map shortly for patrons, which will be linked below if you want to join and become a playtester, and then we'll be making adjustments based off their feedback for what's going to be publicly playable. However, this month we're also starting on the Kickstarter video and we'll be showing off some of the newly textured and designed map in another video. So make sure to subscribe so you can see that video as well as the Kickstarter video when it launches. Speaking of the Kickstarter though, please go ahead and make sure to follow the page so you can get notified when we launch and get access to the really sick early bird tiers that we have planned. With that though marks the end of our fourth major devlog. Things are really heating up and we can't wait for you guys to play the demo when it launches. There will be another video featuring 058 and the new map so do make sure to subscribe and follow the Kickstarter using the link in the description and pinned comment so you can stay up to date with all the upcoming announcements. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.